Hey HTL, here we are in the uh, testing portion of our uh, review for the NF F12 PWM fan from Mach 2 up. What we're going to do here is we're going to compare three fans. Uh, we're going to obviously use the Noctua fan, and then we're going to use a Scythe Slipstream, which is a, a regular case fan. And then we're going to use the uh, Cooler Master Sickle Flow, which is designed for uh, high airflow as well as silence. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started by plugging in the uh, NFF12 PWMN fan from Octua. And we're going to listen to it. This is a, a silence uh, test to see how quiet uh, this fan really is. And there we are. This is plugged in. It's running at 1500 RPM. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this around. I don't know if you can hear it, but... It's really quiet. Uh, there's lots of air coming off it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unplug this and we're going to plug in a uh, the Scythe fan and see how noisy a regular case fan can be. So here we are with the Scythe fan. This is a regular case fan. And here we are. Now this is running at 1900 RPM. So quite a big difference in the volume of uh, uh, the volume coming off the fan. Now we're going to plug in the Cooler Master fan. This is a sickle flow. This is uh, 2,000 RPM, but it's designed to run silent as well. So it's quiet as well. I mean, you can't uh, you can't hear a difference, or at least I can't hear a difference between this fan and the uh, Noctua fan. This will bring this close, and we'll do the same with the Noctua fan again. to a fan over. We'll just put this in now. So between the Noctua fan and the uh, Scythe fan, obviously there's a huge difference. The Scythe regular case fan is a lot louder, but when you put it beside the Sickle Flow from Cooler Master, uh, they run virtually the same. There's a difference of uh, 0.4 decibels, Noctua being at 18.6, the uh, Sickle Flow at 19 decibels. Uh, what we're going to do now is show you a way of testing your own fans. Uh, it requires a little math, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what we're going to do here. Okay, here is our mad science project. What we've done is we've taken a piece of cardboard and taped a uh, garbage bag around it. We cut a hole uh, in the cardboard the size of the impeller. 
of the fan and then we mounted the fan to the cardboard and sealed it off with tape. Now we know there's uh, going to be a degree of inaccuracy here but it's a fun little mad science project that should get you uh, a pretty good idea of what your fans are doing for airflow. So what's going to happen is we're going to plug the fan in and it's going to fill up the bag and what we do is we time how long it takes the bag to get filled and that will give us a rough estimate on what uh, uh, CFM the fan is moving. So let's just plug this in and we'll see what it does. That was about eight seconds roughly and it's full. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this test uh, a few times and we're going to average out the results and uh, that's going to tell us what the CFM of this fan is.